Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I will be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can create a real estate listing feature in your .NET website. And for that, we're going to be using the module called Property Agent by Ventrian Systems. And I just want to give a big thanks to Scott McCulloch uh, for helping me out, helping me out to set this up. Um, quick note here, when I first looked at this module, I thought it was really just about real estate li listing because, I mean, you see that in the icon, the icon has a little house there and property agents. Again, everything seemed to be geared towards real estate listing, but actually this is not true. You can, you can create any type of listing with, with this module. This module works in a, in a, in a template basis and you can have a car template for car listings, a real estate template, uh, any, any, any type of template you can also customize to create your own listing, your own particular listing that you may need. But, um, for the sake of this first contact with, with this module with property agents, I'm going to stick to a real estate listing. And, and, but, but in any case, whenever possible, I will explore the other types of types of templates that are already pre-built and already available for us just to download and use them. So let's keep going. Let's again, objective will be let's have a real estate a listing feature in our site, but along the way, we're going to explore some other aspects, uh, in some other, in some of the flexibility that property agent module uh, bring to us. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the module in our test site. So I'm going to log into the backend as super user and I have downloaded the module already. By the way, the module has quite, the property agent module has quite good documentation. As you, as you can see here, it has uh, an administration guide and a template guide. So the administration guide will tell you how to use the, the module um, with the templates that already exist. So how to use it more or less out of the box. And then with the template guides, you can go deeper into how you, how, how you can customize the templates, how you can, let's say, create more fields to that template, to that, uh, to that real estate template or, or to that car template, or even creating a new template from scratch. So again, very, very good idea to split that into two different guides. One, I will call it a basic admin guide and another one, a more advanced guide for you that wants to go deeper into the template aspects of the module. So uh, I'm going to install the module now. So I'm just going to click host module definitions. I'm going to install the module browse and here is the module. Click next. Standard installation, just click next again. Next one more time, accept license and hit next. Okay, installation is completed. Scroll all the way down to see everything, if everything is okay, it seems to be. Let's click return. Okay, so let's scroll down and have a look if it was already, if it's installed, it is property agent. There are a couple of modes that come together. So let's start exploring, exploring that. Um, I'm going to create a new page to place the, the property agent module. Let's click new and then let's call this real estate listing. And let's make it visible to all users, including the menu. That's fine. Let's click update. Then from here, I'm going to add what I suppose is this. It's the main module of the bunch, which is the property agent module. So I have selected it. Click add module. 
Okay, so the module was placed in the page. I'm going to delete this thing here at the top, this HTML module. Now it's asking me to select a template, uh, but there are no templates yet because I, I have just installed the, the, the module out of the box without the templates. Now, what I want to do, I want to go back to the, I want to go to their site, to Ventrin site and download the real estate template that is already available for us. I'm going to grab the URL and that URL will be posted within the video post as well. So I'm just copying, going there and here. Okay. So out of the box, we can download a couple of different templates. We have a real estate template, which is the one that interests me right now for the sake of this demonstration. We have cars, simple. Again, you can use those templates as the basis of your own template. You may be, you may want to do a classified type of type of feature. So you can get one of those, have that as the base of your new template. But again, in our case, we are using it out of the box the way it is. So I'm going to download the restate template. Click download, save it. Now I'm going back to the module and I'm going to see how I can upload that template. So let me try to click on change template or initialize template. Okay, none of those. Let me see here. Change template. Let's try. Nope. Okay, let's have a look at here again. Let's have a look at settings. Nope. So again, as you can see, I'm exploring as I'm going along as well. So let me try here. Edit template definitions. Okay, perfect. So under edit template definitions, we can see import new template. So I'm going to click there and I'm assuming that I'll be able to now upload that real estate template that I have just, I have just downloaded. So I'm going to click open, upload file. So it is imported already. Template for managing real estate properties. Okay. Import. Okay, so I uh, so it seems that it has imported the, the, the template and let me go to the main view. Now there is the template here uh, option available in the drop down. So I have it selected. I'm going to click initialize template. Okay, perfect. So, okay. So again, it, it comes pretty much ready to go. It has a property search at the top where I can search by different property types, which I'm sure that we can change those types and we're going to explore that. Again, there are some other options here, suburb, and of course we can change those and we're going to be trying to change them as well. Price range, bedrooms, bathrooms, garages and property types. So all of that will work as as filtering and searching here. This is the end of part one of the video on how to create a real estate listing feature in your .NET Duke website.